Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. So today in the series of our Spark Performance Tuning, we'll look at what are the different techniques available in the Spark world to handle skew data. Data skewness is a serious problem in any of the big uh, running Spark jobs. And we'll see what are the different techniques and tricks and uh, solutions are available in the Apache Spark to handle the data skewness. So guys, let's start. So guys, let's quickly see what is data skewness. Uh, so data skewness in a very simple term is a condition where the data is unevenly distributed among the different partitions across the cluster. So that means it's a condition wherein one partition, uh, the amount of data is very huge compared to the other partitions of the same data set. Right. So we're talking about like there is one data set, but when it is put in uh, for compute in this park world and the way partitions are created. So data skewness is created where in one particular partition, the amount of data or data records are very huge compared to the other partitions for the same data set. So I mean, look at the situation here, like uh, a Spark job is running, there would be different tasks for different partitions and all the parties, all the tasks for the smaller partitions will finish up in time. However, they'll keep on waiting for the task to be finished for the skewed data partition. So this will hold on to your entire Spark job. And I mean, it's, you will not be able to get the uh, right leverage of the parallelism in the Spark job. Like parallelism here has become useless because they have already finished up. These tasks is already finished up, but they'll keep on waiting for this particular task. And here the data is very badly skewed, so it will take forever to finish up. So that's why data skewness can very severely downgrade the performance of uh, queries and operations, specifically operations like join and aggregate functions, which require shuffling of data. So uh, let's see uh, from the statistical analysis, let's try to understand the data skewness from uh, statistical analysis as well. Uh, data is skewed when the mean, median, and the mode are not equal to each other. In that situation, data is skewed from the statistical analysis perspective because whenever the data would be absolutely normal distributed, these three values, mean, median, and mode would be same. So, and one uh, important pointer that to you know, prime of SE or quickly identify whether uh, if, if I have some slow running job or non finishing spark job to identify whether it is whether it is because of data skewness in the spark ui we usually see sometimes that you know uh, most of the tasks are finished but first one particular task is is pending uh, and it is holding the entire job so sometimes you see like 199 out of 200 tasks are finished so in that case it's a very prominent task that it is happening because of data skewness so, I mean, in a situation where you see on a Spark UI that there are like 90% of the tasks are finished, but last two or three tasks are still waiting or, or keep on running, then this may happen because of data skewness. So, I mean, what are the different performance issues you will face? Like if in case you, you have a data skewness situation, um, it's, it's a serious problem because in a distributed processing environment, uh, when the data is not evenly distributed among the partition, uh, they will form uh, data skewness and this will result in uh, one particular task taking time forever. Uh, it will absolutely result in inconsistent processing times and in, in, in case of data skewness, you will not be able to harness the uh, real uh, optimum utilization of parallelism and parallelism benefits and especially uh, it uh, it will be more uh, you know uh, prominently looking in the scenarios where you're trying to perform joins and aggregate functions like group by and you will you are observing on the spark ui that 90 percent of the tasks are finished but last two or three tasks are keep on hanging 
So guys, let's see what are the different solutions available. First one is try to repartition your data. Try to repartition it from the aspect that uh, you are trying to split the bigger partitions into smaller ones and let's see if we can able to achieve the uh, you know evenly distributed data across uh, the partitions in the cluster uh, second very important technique given here is the technique of salting so here for the uh, skewed uh, partitions or partition ids we try to add some random numbers or random keys so that we can redistribute it with the new keys to achieve the even distribution across the cluster uh, similarly, next technique is isolating salting and then isolating map joints is nothing but like map joints, which is like if you're trying to, if, if use case allows you that you can apply map join, like if one table is small enough to be kept as a seed data in the form of hash tables across clusters and then you can do local lookup. So if, if that's the case, map join can also help in terms of tackling skewness and iterative broadcast join. So we'll see and understand all these techniques in detail. So let's start. So repartitioning is, um, we're trying here to, you know, try to repartition the data across the cluster in a way that each partition may have more even distribution of data, you know. And uh, what we can do to achieve here is that in the Spark SQL, uh, you can uh, you can increase the uh, you know partition shuffle values by this particular key and uh, also uh, in the normal spark uh, code we can try to use the uh, operations like repartition and collage obviously based on what is your cluster topology like number of nodes etc to try to repartition the data right and you, I mean, the first choice is to uh, you kind of use primary keys of the data set to redistribute them. They'll give more even distribution. Um, however, the problem with repartitioning is it does not guarantee that data will be distributed evenly between the partitions. Uh, at the end of the day, it all depends on the hash value of the expression or key which you're trying to use. Uh, for the distribution of data across partitions or for in simple terms whatever is the hash value of the key or expression uh, for partitioning in and however in most of the cases with bigger data samples repartition uh, up to certain extent can help to mitigate this skewness problem uh, but it, it does not help you entirely from the uh, skewness problem uh, because it's it's the distribution uh, is not guaranteed uh, that the new keys the way you're trying to repartition it that will result in the even distribution of data so but in, in in some of the cases with bigger sample data it can help you to achieve the even distribution uh, now the second technique and which is the important technique is the salting uh, as I've discussed briefly uh, in the previous slide that here we are trying to add a salt salt is a random value to the uh, usual partition keys in the particular data set so that now with these new salted keys we can redistribute the data during the uh, business operations like join or some aggregate or heavy lifting operations during this spark job so for example, I'll give you a real time scenario or real time use case. If we look uh, real telecom data, 80% of the traffic would be coming say from 20% of the towers. And that's true in uh, any telecom operator you talk about. So if say we are, we are using say tower ID uh, as a partition key to distribute the data, then probably, you know, 80% of the data will be remaining on one particular partition right which is definitely which is definitely a case of skewed data for example suppose let's try to understand it with an example suppose we have 1000 data records suppose the entire traffic and the data that we have collated in in for this particular uh, telecom uh, use case 
you say we had 1000 data records and say we had five towers through which we are collecting this data now if you are partitioning the data using the tower id then first tower say this is this is the tower so 20% of 5 is one tower so one tower is where we are getting the maximum traffic with and the maximum traffic is like 80% so 800 records would be there on on the first partition itself which is the first tower id so first partition for first tower id would have 800 data records and others i've just taken them that they are very uh, evenly distributed but the idea is the remaining 200 records would be distributed in the remaining four towers so if you see there's a huge uh, difference of data on one particular partition which is the first partition so data is obviously skewed for that partition this is a typical case of data skewness now to solve this problem what we can do is we can add salt or random numbers to the uh, to these tower ids which is our partition keys and then try to redistribute them across the cluster so in order to curb this situation we will modify our original keys to some modified keys by adding the salt values which is nothing but say random integer so that now when we'll try to redistribute them or repartition them across the cluster now there, there would be different hash values generated and these different hash values would result in the proper distribution of data among the partitions so let's see how do we apply this technique say suppose current partition key that we have is tower id now the salted key for the new data set or for uh, for this data set itself new salted key is generated in the way that we have added some random integer for the different tower ids now suppose this is our data like for one we had this much of number of records right this is the this is the current uh, set of data uh, like the current state of data now when we'll add salted keys suppose we added some random numbers to these keys like we have added uh, 31 to first partition id or tower id say 22 is the second random number like this so now what we are seeing is post applying the salting technique we would have different partition keys for all those records which were previously say marked to tower id 1 now this new data set uh, when we'll try to repartition this new data set or try to distribute this data set this will result in much more even distribution right now they are not mapped to uh, partition id 1 now they are mapped to partition id like 32 23 68 81 44 second third fourth fifth right so this top in itself which was in one bucket of partition id one now it is related to the unique partition ids for the for the one bucket itself right so now when i'll put it into partition and say when, when the hash partitioner will try to put them across different partitions it will be much more evenly distributed because now the partition id one is no more into the picture so in the salting technique there are two stages of aggregation as we have seen one is we'll convert the normal keys normal partition ids to the salted keys and then we'll do the map transformation to create the salted key and value tuples pairs and then the required operations whatever you want to perform like join or group by or whatever would be performed on this salted keys right and the second stage is once the business operation is finished we now will perform operation to access the unsalted keys from the result set of the uh, operation which was performed on the salted key, keys or key value pairs so through this technique we can reduce the processing time to a great extent because now the data is uh, no more skewed it is very evenly distributed and when uh, the data is evenly distributed the real optimization of parallelism or the right parallelism, parallelism benefits are achieved 
so this is zero code how we can uh, scala pseudo code how we can apply the uh, uh, salting so suppose this is my skewed data set you know and what i can do is i'm doing applying the map transformation i've used the random api to generate random numbers and this is say my initial uh, partition key i've added say a random integer to this partition so that now i would have newer and unique you know partition keys generated which when will go into the operation will be evenly repartitioned across the cluster so guys that's it in this particular video uh, i'll discuss the other techniques in the part 2 of the video but uh, quickly want to reiterate that sal salting it's one of the absolute uh, performance tuning uh, technique which is uh, very effective in the data skewness kind of problems so guys thanks for watching have a great day ahead bye bye